today on Grand Thumb. Mike, what are we doing? Say it. I'm gonna stick my guns in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? So uh, it took me two weeks to clean all these weapons. Uh, they've been function checked. They all work. <sighs> and we're gonna be doing the combat mud test. So the idea being that you're LARPing, an RPG comes by, a airsoft BB, or your mom calls you up to uh, get Lunchables. In any case, it surprises you, and you action down into the mud. At that point, you see a steel target, you must shoot it. So the weapon is right out of the mud, and you fire. And the question is, will the weapon work? I don't know, hopefully. That's some pretty thick mud. We are in the PNW. This mud isn't, it's just mud. Don't ask. Bad yeah, it's, it's, mud. Yeah, it's, it's, it's disgusting. These guns are gonna die, dude. Um, so we're gonna find out what happens. But um, last time we took too long, just talking, it's all military ammunition, good mags, all these guns work, and we're gonna prove it to you right now. Let's do it. A big thank you to our biggest sponsor, Brownells. Thank you, Brownells, a very base. We, of course, have the National Association for Gun Rights. A big thank you to them. And, of course, we can't forget our ammunition sponsor, Norma. You guys rock. Let's get into the video. So, to start with, we have the MR556 Alpha 1. Go ahead and rack that. Fire five rounds. All right, functions, close the dust cover. Next up, we have Styrog, which is ready for the winter. Five. Next up, we have an AKM. Cool, works. We have the AK-105, built really, really well. We have a Block 2 M4, military upper, civilian lower. We have, coming back for redemption, SR-6, SR, excuse me, 15. We have the FN, FNC. Set to adverse setting. Coming back for redemption as well. We have the SIG MCX. Hopefully it works. Cool. Iwi Galil, once again, coming to rock our world. That was really consistent ejection. We have the M14. We have now taped over the full auto selector. Um, probably not well enough. People will surely get mad at me. Sorry, guys. DSA, OSW. Of course, the venerable scar. And finally, we have the LMT MWS and 6.5 Creedmoor. So, as you can see, every gun works. The question is now, will they work in the mud? You know, Carl and Ian, I feel like did a really good job of showing that typically the AR works. I'm really interested to see. Micah? I don't know. I mean, with the 
dust cover cloak, I'm fairly certain it'll work, but I don't I don't know. I'm scared for the scar. I'm scared for the scar. We'll say that much. All right, let's get to it. There's no way around it now. First weapon, we have the MR556A1 and uh, basically a 416. And uh, we'll see. I, I literally have no idea. So we'll be doing uh, ejection uh, covers closed, dust covers closed on our first test. And then uh, depending on how everything goes, we might do it with them open. So first test, let's go. Get in there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. I mean, yeah, the mud sucked, but as you can see, like, AR is also just a pretty sealed system as well. So there's not really a chance of anything getting in there and screwing it up. So, MR556, absolutely no problem. Question is, will that hold for the rest of our weapons? We'll find out. No problems whatsoever. Next up, we have the AKM. Let's see how that goes. So far, we're having literally no issue with any of the guns that we've used is good. All right, AK-105. Yeah, not even getting gritty or anything. We have our Block 2 M4 right here. Get in there. You know what? I don't think we're gonna have any issues with these guns with this test as we're doing it right now. What do you think, Micah? No, yeah. I don't think so. All right, what's up? SR-15, it's gotta really screw it up, right? Fuck it, we'll find out. No issue. Next up. FN, FNC. People are gonna get mad at me for this one. Didn't mean get it in there good enough. Come on, baby. Yeah, absolutely fine. We have the MCX, which also, I believe, is going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, zero problems. Let's do it. Come on, the glue can handle it. <laughs> Are we gonna kill the M14 is the question. Let's find out. I know. Oh, that got gross. There, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. It just ain't it, dude. Yep. Hold on. And 14 people are going to be so mad. Nah. 
She's done, dude. Yeah. People are like, well, you're getting rougher on the guns and you're throwing them harder in the mud. I don't know, no, man. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> okay. We have the OSW right here. Come on, get in there. That's gonna be fine, dude. Okay, so what we can do here, we can turn our gas setting to more adverse. Go ahead and get that round out. Interesting. Come on. Okay, here we go. Fine. Next up, we have the scar. Should be okay. Oh, that poor deep Delta Point Pro. Ah. Prove this wrong, dude. Finally, we have the LMT MWS, close the ejection port cover. Partially opened it, Let's see how that goes. Except for the M14. Classic. Everything's pretty good. I would say we uh, we amp this up now. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> I'm tired and cold, dude. We've done part one of the test now. Uh, Mike, if you come down here and take a look, uh, these guns are pretty well coated in mud. But with the exception of the FAL and the M14, everything is good to go. So we're going to ramp the test up at this point. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the M14. Um, it just it's not doing well and I don't feel safe Continuing to do the test with this particular weapon OSW is is still doing okay. It did choke a little bit But otherwise everything else is fine So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the weapons. We're going to place some action side up We're going to kick mud on top of the action So the dust covers will be open on the ARs on the AKs the safeties will be down and we'll see how they do when they're directly exposed because in uh, you know, a combat type environment, you might not have the dust cover closed, your safety might be down, um, and there might be more ingress of material into your weapon. How are they gonna do now? I think we're gonna experience a lot more malfunctions. Uh, certainly we've seen that the ARs have performed and the AKs have both performed really well, so I'm interested to see. Let's see if your favorite weapon fails. Micah, what do you think, dude? I think, the AR, oh, I think all the ARs are done. Really? With the with the bolt with the with the, uh, what is it, dust cover open? Yeah. Yeah. Even the venerable MR556A1. Yeah, I kind of do. I don't know. All right, let's find out, dude. We're gonna go ahead and get some mud off. Ready for it? All right, here we go. Whoops! Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. gross. Uh, uh. So, people are gonna be like, oh, you shook it. Well, yeah, I mean, you're gonna shake your gun. <laughs> it's pretty normal. Uh, yeah, like zero issue. Should huh. I shoot it with like the mud on? Yeah, don't kick it. Like, what if it's like, uh, like life or death if you don't grab your rifle, you know, or if you don't shake your rifle? <sighs> the things I do for you guys. I mean, just like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Okay, here we go. We literally had to induce a malfunction on that. Oops. That was my bad on that one for clearing that malfunction. Come on, baby. Okay. 
Nice bolt override there. Oh, that's a nasty one. Oh. Gotcha. Hey, HK for the win. Back, <laughs> yeah, she's good, dude. Uh, we went pretty hard on that one. Uh, I think we do that for everything. Do it, give it, do both tests at the same time. All right, let's do it. Let on and then let in. All right, we have the Stormtrooper AUG. Let's see how it goes. There we go. What a champion, dude. Just no problems. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. Same, same it, thing. Oh, it's blocking it from, uh, from ejecting. ejecting. Yeah. I mean. To be clear, there we go. We are putting these in the worst case situations. Whoops, come on. All right, so needed a little bit of assistance there. We did have a dead trigger from the mud, but uh, you know, after assisting it, it worked. Yeah. Not bad on the AUG, yeah. not bad. All right, the venerable AKM. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, that poor aim point. Get in there. That's gonna be fine. Oh yeah. Zero problem. You know what's crazy is, this one's actually probably gonna work because that bolt is gonna move the mud off before it ejects. Think so? Yeah. Let's find out. Nope. Nope, okay. Okay, got a stuck case right there. So, come on, baby. You get it? Yeah, we got it. But, it's not going fully forward into battery there. Looks like we got some mud. Or rock that is preventing it from fully coming into battery. So, I mean, it's so random what's gonna cause something to malfunction. It gave people on life support now, I guess, right? <laughs> guess the ice test wasn't, wasn't the- supposed to happen. This wasn't supposed to happen. Brandon Herrera, I'm sorry. <sighs> Dude, I almost feel bad doing this with the Jim Fuller AK. Almost. <sighs> oh no. People are like, you're stepping on it. You're making the test worse. Come on, get off. Okay. Okay, we had a failure to extract. Got that one out. Or it looks like it did load, but just couldn't get all the way in. Oh, come on, there we go.
Okay, so needed a little bit of assistance and it seems to have run into the same issue where we had a rock get caught up on the action, but pretty good performance from the AK. Yeah. It's just a Morak open system. Yeah. Things can get into it. This is also kind of a ridiculous test. APK people are probably gonna be so mad. Don't be, this isn't, these weapons performed great for what they needed them to perform great in. All right, that poor Trijicon, excuse me, that poor uh, Voodoo right there. There you go. Oh, AK people punching the air so hard right now, bro. Come on, fail. <laughs> oh, this is gonna induce a malfunction. Yeah. No way. What? <laughs> Where, how? <laughs> it, it, it locked back. It was, oh my God, block two. I quit. Eugene Stoner! Eugene Stoner, you beautiful, beautiful son of a bitch. Incredible. Fucking incredible, man. Block two for the win. You know, I talked about this weapon. About how it's just like a... Just a great combat rifle. It's cool. I like that. Cac SR15? Yeah, let's do it. All right, give me a sec. Let me uh, drink some LaCroix. I wish they were a sponsor, but they're not. Uh, okay. Let's do it. People will probably say that we uh, gamed the test or, or something, but like... It is what it is, dude. I don't know what to say, man. SR 15. Come on, baby. Okay. SR 15. Get a little bit more mud over here. Good night. <laughs> oh. Okay. There is no way. Just no way. There's too much mud, man. <laughs> oh my god. Even better than the block two. Oh my god. Did anybody sell their SR15 because of the I hope they didn't. Well But what if I am in an environment <laughs> But what if and icy Icy and muddy. Um I mean I don't I don't like I'm not trying to start a fight. Just, what you did. Just trying to make videos, man. All right, FNC. Come on, baby. Yeah, she's good. Okay. With the mud on, honestly, if I was a betting man, I'm going to say it's going to throw the mud off. Yeah, that's what I was saying about the AKs, though. And it didn't. Well, that's not good. We got mud inside the uh, receiver right there. Huh. Okay, let's put the safety back on here. Put the mud back on. Yeah. 
Not bad. Cool. Not bad. Strong showing from the FNC right there. <sighs> well, Sig has already done the mud test, so <laughs> I think we're good. All right, Sig MCX. What do you think, man? Well, this isn't self lubricating mud, so. <laughs> Legendary know, comment. Ain't no way. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You notice how it's the exact malfunction every time? Yeah, man. There we go. Cool. Not bad. Okay. Is, is there mud in Israel? Just dust. <laughs> well, let's see how the Galil does. I have a good feeling about this one. You think so? Yeah. All right. Okay. So you can see it right there. Some of that mud got into the... You know what's crazy? What's up? Same as the AK. No, no some of those shots, it didn't fully seat and it still fired. Really? See? Yeah. Well, I don't want to die. So we're going to go ahead and... Try to. Yeah, I, I bet if I went back and slowed that down, you'd see the bolt literally not see and still fire the rounds. What the? Huh. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Yeah. It's definitely odd. We're going to go ahead and take a rain check on firing that until we've precisely determined. It seems to be fine, but for my safety, we're going to go ahead and cut that one right there. M14, we already know the answer to. Not necessary. Got the OSW. So this does have a sand cutter bolt. Question is, how good will that be? Okay. It's ridiculous test right here. You know, oh, wait, it, it, that was the last round. Oh, wait. Yeah, she's good. Okay, we'll take it. Huh, not bad. Oh, my God. I am so muddy, man. Why do I do this? That poor Elkan, dude. Oh, 
<laughs> she is sluggish, dude. She is sluggish, but she's working. All right, we'll go pop her over to adverse. Okay. Let's get that mud back on her. There's no way, man. There's just no way. Yep, same thing. Okay. Yeah, she's good. No, not too bad on the scars part. It's not too bad at all. LMT, man. So, given that it's a uh, AR platform, well, an AR-10 platform, I think it's gonna be okay. Just no problem, man. Well, that mud just blasted me in the face. I think it's all over the lens. Now just one drop. Yeah, so I had one round pop out of the magazine, but uh, locked back. Well, partially locked back. Slight malfunction there, but uh, very strong showing. Carl and Ian seem to be pretty much correct in their mud tests, where it was shown that the AR-15 did pretty damn good in the in the mud. And uh, certainly we saw that with the systems that we had right here, that the AR-15 type systems did pretty well. I'm going to surmise, much as Ian and Carl did, that this is likely due to the fact that it's a very sealed system. It prevents uh, ingress of dirt to cause a weapon malfunction. I just can't believe the SR-15 shot brass out through the mud. Can you believe that, dude? That's crazy. That and the Block 2, man. Block 2 and the SR-15, the mud champions, right? What would you say got third place? Third place... MCX? I'd say either MCX or SCAR. Oh, oh, we forgot about the MR556, dude. It did great. Yeah, it did awesome. Well, anything AR-related did great. You know, not... Not what I expected at all. So did we measure the mud? No, we didn't measure the viscosity of the mud or the rocks. We just put it in the PNW dirt and let the guns function for themselves. So can you argue that? Sure, it's it's just an interesting test nonetheless that uh, overall proves, I think, that the AR-15 is a wonderful system in adverse con conditions. Uh, there's certainly a weapon system for every environment and I think uh, We've pretty well shown that the AR-15 does tend to perform fairly well in the dirt and mud. Pretty incredible if you ask me. So the old FUD saying, can the AK get dragged through the mud and still work? Maybe, our tests didn't show it. It seems to be that a really well-built AR-15 seems to do really, really freaking well. So that's pretty damn cool. There's a tool for every job, guys. Don't let this influence your decisions too much. We'll be doing more. The point is, if you don't train with these tools, you're not going to know how to actually shoot them, how to use them. This is a, like most intense uh, case scenario right here. Don't let this make you sad or anything like that. Don't use this to argue on the internet because it really doesn't matter. Now, what does matter? Training. Get some training out there, guys. If you don't get training, you're gonna suck. And this whole argument is moot. So go, train, shoot, get out there. That's all that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, there's tons of great trainers out there. Find one that works for you. Stay deadly out there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Final thing for you guys. Don't argue on the internet. It's not worth it. Also, go check out the Patreon. We have some cool products releasing really soon.